So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. This will be taken short. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? From the 27, Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. I apologize in advance, partner, but the B feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. Peterson, 53 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And here's Terry now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, as this game continues to evolve in the NFL, you know how much coaches love run after catch, but you know what they love even more? Completion. Yeah, just holding on to the ball. Catch it, cover it, tuck it away. Whatever you get after that is almost gravy. That's how a lot of these receivers are being taught now. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And he will score. 
Touchdown, Tampa Bay! That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one taken just inside the 10. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. <laughs> Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get just nowhere to escape and he goes down. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively, pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Draw play to Sims. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, yellow, yellow. as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This will be fielded at the 17. And there he goes again. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And this offense, not able to believe their good fortune, probably. First and goal at the two. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Adrian Peterson with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And they will get to him behind the line, but the clock continues to tick down. Here's Brian Anger now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. He'll look to set up his blockers. Let's go. Time for a break. We've there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. 
The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This one fielded at the five. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's the touchdown, Tampa Bay. Adrian Peterson. 66 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple let's extra go, yards go, up to the 27-yard line. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. And he's loose again, and he will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mark that down as a punt return of 78 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. All right, Kevin.